Circus performers amaze audiences with seemingly death-defying acts. So just how risky are those trapeze acts and high wire walks? Well, SNN Local News 6 reporter Jessica Jordan spoke to two longtime aerialists about life under the big top and the potential dangers of circus stunts. She joins us live from the newsroom with more. Jessica. Yeah, Lauren, those acts certainly involve a huge amount of risk, even for the most well-trained performers. But every now and then, accidents do happen, just like the recent fall involving Sarasota resident and circus performer Tito Montoya. We asked a couple veteran circus performers here just how something like this happens. Norma Fox made a living performing trapeze acts, hanging by the heels of her feet in death-defying shows. Even after years of specialized training to do this, she says accidents happen every once in a while. My legging totally collapsed. I got buried in the sand and wasn't breathing anymore. They had to revive me. She fell nearly 75 feet from this rig, an accident that broke nearly every bone in her body. We usually say, the higher you go, the safer you are. If you have a fall, you have the time to turn around. What happened now with Tito, that was very unfortunate. Longtime Sarasota resident and circus performer Tito Montoya fell off a trapeze during a show in South Carolina last week. He hit the ground head first in front of a horrified crowd during a performance of the Walker Brothers Circus. Longtime trapeze artist Jackie LeClaire says performers take a calculated risk every time they step off the ground. You have to be careful, you're never overconfident, because that's where a lot of people can get hurt. They uh, forget. Yes. How dangerous it is. They, they get careless. LeClaire and Fox performed together in Sarasota's Ringling Circus. They say performers typically train for years and have total control of their act. Fox knows the Montoya family and says performers like Tito know the risks involved in these circus acts and they still love the rush of performing. We live circus and the only thing there that people don't understand that the minute you leave the ground, your life is at stake. You could have anything happen. And Norma Fox says these performers who get up on the high wire and the trapeze go through years and years of training to do their acts. Even Tito Montoya had that same type of extensive training. Lauren? And uh, Jessica, what is the latest on his condition at this point? We are told he is in critical condition on life support and the circus performers we spoke with today say, you know, everyone here is a big circus family. Everyone is grieving. A lot of people around here knew this performer and we're even told that a lot of people are coming together right now to give his family money and any support that they can. All right, Jessica Jordan reporting. Thanks, Jessica.